Alright guys, in this video we're going to be finding out if this 150 watt inverter with Eagle 7.5 amp battery can power this 85 inch TV. Oh. This is the ultimate, most powerful battery solution for computers I have used on this channel. So in the past, I used to be checking out these uh, USB power banks. Cool, 27,000 milliamps. It should last a long time. However, I have been getting into gardening tools recently. I've been checking out the Ego brand, and this is a 10 amp, 56 volt beast of a battery. It is heavy AF, and this is an inverter. Check it out, it turns this into normal AC voltage, which means we can get up to 150 watts. So I'm gonna do a live test, and I'll be showing you what is inside it, and how much power, how many MacBooks can we be charging at the same time? Can it charge my monitors? Can it charge my TV? Just turned it on, it's still green, so it's running the TV on standby. TV is running on standby now, will it turn on or will it explode? Finding out on this channel, so first things first, let me open up the inverter and it comes just like that. Now this is an international, I've got the Australian model, so it has the three pins at the front there. It's nice and small and simple, and very, very light. You can carry it and have some fun with it. Now of course, it's lighter than a battery, this USB power bank, it's lighter than it, but it's bigger. You can't put it on an airplane because there's no battery here. However, depending on the size of the battery you pair it with, it might not be plain legal. So I've got here, this is the 10 amp edition battery. I'm just gonna unbox it here. Now 10 amps at 56 volts. That's like over an AC world of 240 volts times by, that's like two and a half amps. Two and a half times 2000. It's a, it's a lot. Oh, let's look how gigantically silly this battery is. Like if you are looking for a workout, this is pretty good. Now I'm hoping this comes charged because I just want to test this out right now. So I press the power button and it is barely charged. It's just got one bar, so it might not even work. I don't know if I should charge it before I do this test or just go for it. I'm gonna go for it because I'm wild. So let's plug it in right now. Boom. Okay, be a bit careful. Plugged it in right there. And when it's plugged in, you can carry it like that. Does it slide off? No, it doesn't slide off. You do get, looking at here, you get dual USB. Yeah, be careful when it's plugged in, it almost hit my face. Don't dilly dally with it. But you also get the AC situation. So there isn't actually any charge in this battery. I'll charge it up if I feel like I need to. I'll charge it up in a bit, but let's just see, will it work? So I'm gonna plug this in right now. Three, two, one. Hey, there it is. It is charging up this laptop, no problems. Now this laptop uses, this is about 100 watts of charging power. This battery system can go up to 150 watts. So I'm gonna go over there behind you. So guys, a uh, bit of a mess right here, but basically I've got a nice, big, juicy 32 incher, and I got a 16 incher, and I got a couple of foams here that uh, is introducing petroleum to my world. I'm gonna unplug it and just plug it into that power bank situation and see if, look at this, with one bar, if it can still run the monitor. Don't know if this is gonna be over 150 watts, but I'm just gonna plug it in, and I'm gonna turn it on. Nah, it's red. Too much power, or the battery's probably not charged. I'm gonna charge the battery. So this is the big charging station for the beast. And, just gonna take this out, put this guy in, and it should start charging up super fast. I guess in the meantime, this is seven and a half amps. I wanna live the dream. It is red, so I think the issue is it can't power everything at the same time, unfortunately. I'll just unplug the laptop for now, because that's about 100 watts. Let's see if I can at least power my monitor. And it looks like that's still too much power. So on the label of this, it says it powers your TVs, your laptops, your monitors, all this kind of good stuff. In real life, it probably does it, but individually, this monitor was way too powerful for it. My TV, can it power?
power an 85 inch television? Guys, that is an 85 incher. It's gigantic, it's the size of my hand. It's almost as big as my hands. So we're gonna be seeing if this fella can turn it on. Now, this is plugged into my Alienware, so this must be the TV. So I'll unplug the TV. Just turned it on, it's still green. So it's running the TV on standby. TV is running on standby now. Will it turn on or will it explode? Let's find out. TV is on. Look at that. All right, guys, that is a surprising development. So it couldn't power my BenQ 32 inch monitor, but this 85 inch Sony TV, it is on. It's, it's starting up and uh, the light is still green. So it could just be a win. Look at that. Look at that right there. So this Alienware, obviously that's not being powered by the, the power bank, but this whole TV is being powered by that inverter with a seven and a half amp battery. I don't know how long it's gonna last, but I can hear it buzzing. So if you have to go off grid for a little while, it totally works. That's pretty cool, I wasn't impressed in that. That's pretty cool. All right guys, I hope you found this video useful and I'm gonna just, just stare at the battery life. It's, it's already, it's just, how quickly will it run down? It's probably just killing. It seems to be lasting, it seems to be lasting. All right guys, hope you found this video useful and enjoyed the show. Now sit with me as we find out how long this battery is going to last powering this TV. 85 inches, 4K, 60 hertz. You know it's lasted longer than a minute, so I'll probably leave it at that. One thing I have noticed is that there's a strange buzzing sound coming out of this area around the TV. So I'll probably... So I'll probably just stop testing for now. So it can just about power the A5 incher, whether you should, I don't know if it's damaging the components or not, so I'm gonna cease a fire on my tests for now. Hope you guys found this video useful and enjoyed the show. Oh.